Hi guys, happy Witchy Wednesday. So, alright, we're right back into traditional witchcraft. And yeah, I actually did put a little bit of shit on my eyes today. Very different. Very different. Kind of anchors me back into my um, old hybrid from Venus person self, me. Yeah, kind of, if that made sense. Alright, so, this is a private journal entry um, by Robin, Robin Artisan, and it's very informative, especially after um, we lost our mind to regain our senses. So, this is called They Leap for My Soul, and I thought this was really interesting too, especially for Witchy Wednesday. So, this is a private journal entry of his that he made public, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what follows is a private journal entry that I created the day after I had my first very powerful breakthrough with the amnesia ploy. So, he did the amnesia ploy, and then had a, an amazing breakthrough evidently, so that's really good. I, I love it. So I put it here to illustrate a few of the themes that emerged for me, and which can emerge for any who engage this technique thoroughly. So here is just a little bit of what he says. Alright, sitting there, I felt the presence. Everything was gradually, then suddenly filled with a stark, dark, and deep living presence, both as a, not a whole and each, and in each tree, and in every stone I carried outside with me. And my animals, two dogs, they were leaping against my legs as I usually trying. What? As usual, trying to get up on me. Okay, there we go. And for the first time, they didn't annoy me or bother me at all, because I knew, now, that they were leaping for what they were leaping for. I saw their souls. Aww. I communicated with their souls and the world presence without words, just at my heart level. Aww. Aww. The dog. That's sweet. Anyways, okay. <laughs> the dogs were leaping at my soul. They don't see the human. So obviously the dog does not see us. They only saw my soul. And they only saw their souls. They have no words, like we do, to come between them and the presence between them and their souls. So what they show, how they act, how they live, that's their souls. We humans living in our thoughts and in, uh, not in our senses and souls. We don't sense our souls, and so we experience the dogs as nothing but humans looking down on animals. That's pretty different. That's really actually pretty different. So, wow. So, but this time it was different. I realized that what the dogs were delighted to see in me and what they were trying to get close to was my soul. They don't have any, any conception um, that I am white, brown-eyed, a therapist, a father, a son, a scientist, oh, a centrist, a sorcerer, an animist. None of that. They don't see it. They don't have the power to. They experience me as a soul, a power, a natural power, sprung uh, like they are from the ma this massive presence. They show their souls freely and honestly. They can't do anything else. These animals are the most honest things. These dogs, they can't contrive um, some abstraction that takes them away from soul. Oh, I love that. That's amazing. It's a perfect way to start with you and say, with dogs. Who doesn't love dogs? If you don't, you're sick. So, Okay, so it filled me with joy I cannot describe. It wasn't a dog in my hands. It was a presence, a soul, unique and so full in the moment. A little person, aw, happily trying to share its own presence with mine. It was a dog, of course, but not a dog as I habitually seen before when I didn't see from the soul perspective. Oh, oh, that's just a little soul of a dog, a little person, a tiny little soul. It's so cute. I love it. Anyways, so, okay, I felt deep like I had a new depth. Anything I had thought be deep before now seemed shallow by comparison. So I felt this depth couldn't move and didn't die. That if I did, that if I died at that moment, I'd stay in this presence, both that of my soul and the presence of everything around me, and the greater presence that seemed to be the deepest of all. I just knew that if I died right then, it wouldn't change much at all. Before, I felt in kind of a wonder of uncertainty about er, about death. Uh, that just faded away. That weird calmness about it just faded a bit. 
but it went outside, but it, if I went outside now and got back into this, I think it would return the feeling caused by this presence is unmistakable. Oh, it's still about the dog. So, okay, I feel like I've encountered my soul for the first time today. It's all in the senses, not in thinking. All those abstractions in our heads are a madness in the head. There is no heaven, hell, judgment, salvation, God, devil, none of that. I could feel and hear with my heart as though a communication was just filling me, that the ancient presence I was feeling was all there was, and that the other presences, the trees, the animals, the other beings, and my own soul, my own presence, which seems to have the ability to be with other presences just by in interpenetrating them, going into them, was the totality. Oh, the dogs. I, I love that. I love that. That's very amazing about the dogs. All right, so these presences, the presences concealed by yet fully a part of sky, earth, trees, animals, and much more, and the more mysterious things that had no physical uh, representation, but which I could still sense. These are the gods, and they are the only gods that have ever been. I am sure of this now. And the greater wholeness presence, I don't even know what it was. It feels like the power that I called fate before. Possibly source? All? God, goddess? Am I my fucking blurry? There we go. Can't be it, whatever, I'm still blurry, but I don't care. So, this is really interesting, I love this. So, that's it. It was a great joy, a great peace, a great, great relief. And it all came from giving that amnesia ploy another shot. Bolstered by many understand bolstered by uh, my understanding of how words have stopped us from having a real sensory experience and stuck us all in our heads in thoughts and abstractions. So, I'm just overwhelmed by it. The abstractions born from written words are not truths. They are traps. Confusion, living in emptiness, not touching the world, and the presence. Our senses are themselves sorcerous connections between us and everything. So, we aren't even what we think we are. We are souls, and this soul is a deep thing. Not really a white man or a therapist or anything like that. Those ideas are just tumbling around in it, but they don't touch it. I like this. So from this day forth, I am not using the written word to do anything but unseat and undo and overcome the written word has done to everyone. My own writings are going to undergo a rather serious change. I don't even want to write much anymore. Oh, no, he has to write. I love his writing, it's great. So, I can't help but say this, but say it. This is the way of things. We're all supposed to be here. And what we've done to lose our sense of our own souls and the presence of what can only be described as the sacred wholeness was misuse written language. Wow. I feel like I've rediscovered a part of me the size of the ocean. Or bigger, like my soul's been missing all this time. No more tastes. I just... I feel so loving towards things, my children, my animals, friends, the trees and grass, even that rock I was holding when I saw it with full sensory experience with my soul, was a little being, a person so unique and feeling and li living, feeling alive in my hands, that there is a love inside me, raging and fighting to escape me, like it won't be satisfied until it has joined the whole world. Wow. That's interesting. It was really, really interesting. I really like that whole concept of seeing or sensing uh, the souls, communicating uh, with the soul of an animal, of the trees, of the plants, of all of that. So that is really, really interesting stuff right there. I love that. Have you guys ever done anything like this? Is it anything? Anything like you, you think? So, that's very deep. It's a really deep topic to think about, actually, the soul of an animal, communicating with it. it, it just that feeling, I know that feeling, and it's incredible, so, it's called, it's just like, an, it, you, when you ask or project a little bit into the ether, the etheric realms, you don't feel, well, you feel, but you don't have any form, you have no shape, uh, it, it's, you just, you're you, it, it's your soul, so, I mean, you feel warm, it, it's just like a feeling of bliss. 
that I can't even describe it. So it's pretty interesting. Better than any drugs, literally. So, all right, tomorrow we will go into what her other voice said to me. This man is interesting. I mean interesting. So, wow. Very excited about that. That is just very, very profound. I don't know why. I don't know why that's so profound for me, but it just, it's very, very profound, so, but, alright guys, I hope you guys have a great witchy Wednesday, I love you all very, very, very much, fuck my hair up today royally, oh well, but alright, I love you all very much, with all my heart, all the way from Venus, all the way back down, there we go, alright guys, I will see you all tomorrow, and everybody have a great witchy Wednesday, I love you all, and everybody be safe, all these winter storms coming, oh please bring us, please bring us a lot of snow. Little snowflakes right now, but, alright, I love you all very much, and thank you guys for watching, so I'll see you guys tomorrow.